the Kip Kano Classic just went down in Nairobi, Kenya. This is the premier event on the Kenyan schedule for the year. Continental Tour Gold Meeting. It's vying for a spot in the Diamond League circuit. You know, there's a lot of controversy on Shakira Richardson running the 100 and being told that she has to run the 200 because, you know, Chelian and they need to spread out the events and, you know, whatever it may be. But this proved out to be one of the best meets that we've seen all year. I keep saying this with all the different types of meets, but so many high quality performances. First off, I know we all are watching to see what Shakira Richardson did. Like I said, she didn't get to run the meters she ended up running the 200 and according to her nobody ever asked her to run the 100 at any point so regardless 22.07 seconds this was a masterful performance she, her form is impeccable she's really getting things together and then 20 meters out from the line hands raised stopping her momentum she's you know celebrating and all that she really showed up and showed out here 22.07 is actually her second fastest time ever her personal best 22.00 actually is from 2019 at the ncaa championship when she got second place to Andrew Nellis. But for her to run this time, for her to be slowing down hands up, she very likely at least obviously could have run 21.9, potentially 21.8, which would have been a huge, huge mark. So what does this mean? Well, aside from the fact that this was an amazing 200 murder performance on itself, this is showing her consistency and really cobbling together some of the best performances of her career, leading to potentially one of the best seasons of her career. Look at her 100 meter personal best, 10.72 seconds from 2021. She's now run 10.76 seconds this year. 200 meter personal best, 22.00 seconds. She's just run 22.07 seconds, slowing down. Shakira Richardson is putting together a series of amazing marks that's going to lead to maybe not only making the USA team in the 100, potentially making the team in the 200. And then after that, it's going to be hard for me to see her not on the podium in at least 100 meter dash at the World Championships. Again, not saying she's going to get the gold medal, but all I'm saying is if she makes the USA team, she's very much a podium contender and very likely a gold medal contender. Contender, not favorite. In the 200 meters, I think she's on the path to make the USA team in the 200. Now, getting on the podium is going to be very, very different, right? That event is very, very stacked. But again, 2023 is showing Shakira Richardson is able to put together some amazing races and show the world that she is not here to play. Now, going over to the men's 100 meter dash, this was all about Ferdinand Omanyala. He had a couple contenders here, Marvin Bracey, silver medalist from the World Championships, um, Kenny Benarek, silver medalist from the World Championships in the 200, right? There was a good, good field in this race, but Omanyala, this was all about him, 9.84 seconds to get the win here in the 100 into a negative 0.5 meter per second headwind. This is his second fastest time of his entire career. Personal best of 9.77 from back in 2021, but 9.84, but into a negative headwind, this actually converts to his fastest time of his entire career. I think it converts to approximately 9.87 seconds, considering the wind and then also considering the altitude. Nairobi is very high altitude. So I think this is a great performance for Omanyala. He's really inserting himself as a serious medal contender if he wasn't one already. Coming off the 150 meter dash from Atlanta just last week, where he ran the African record, finished third place. He actually led the race for you know about 100 or so meters. So I think Omanyala is going to be a very serious threat at the World Championships as long as he's able to travel and well, right? He doesn't have to come to the United States. He's just going to Hungary. So we're going to see what he's able to do there. Just behind him though, Kenny Benarek, second place, 9.98 seconds. That's actually his fourth fastest performance of his entire career. So I think this is a great race for Kenny B. He's showing a lot of consistency in the 10 flat, sub 10 range. And he said that he wants to be a contender. Of course, in the 200, he's already won there, but he wants to really get his 100 meter speed back. So this is a great performance for him. Also, Marvin Bracey. Now, I was a little bit worried about Marvin Bracey. I think a couple weeks ago at LSU, he ran a windy 10.26 seconds in the 100. So I wasn't sure exactly what was going on, but 10.03 seconds here, again, into a headwind. This is a great performance for Bracey. Yeah, it's not the 9.9 or the 9.8s or whatever it may be that he's known for, but this shows that he is getting back into the form. He has time, right? USA's is coming up, then he got Worlds, right? He has time to be able to progress and get back down to his personal best of 9.85 seconds, right? So look out for Marvin Bracey, Kenny B, and of course, Omen Yala. He is a serious metal threat. Now, let's talk about the men's 400 meter dash. Muzala Samokonga from Zambia, 44.25 seconds. This is an amazing performance. Of course, he ran that 43.91 uh, just a couple weeks ago in Botswana. But why is this performance important? Well, it backs up that 43.91. It's easy to say that uh, sub 44 is a fluke and it's easy to say, oh, that was altitude. Oh, that was, you know, adrenaline, whatever it may be. For him to come and run 44.25 seconds, that really solidifies himself as a consistent runner in that range. 
and one who can go under 44 seconds once again. I was saying in the previous video that I wasn't sure if he you know, might go under 44 seconds, but this shows that he has that potential and he could very well get a medal. 400 meters is definitely stacked, but I think it's pretty open for the most part. He has the chance to get into the medal podium, and I think he's going to be able to do that considering this performance here. Remember, previous personal best before that 43 was 44.6 seconds, so this consistency is amazing for Samukonga. Just behind him, though, have to shout out Vernon Norwood, 44.68 seconds. I think that's about his eighth or ninth fastest performance of his entire career, so for him to get this performance here, showing that consistency, he's been a mainstay on the uh, USA 4x4s for years now, and of course has made some individual teams. Definitely look out for Norwood, and you know he might be making that USA team in the 400. Moving over to the women's 100 meter dash, Twanisha Terry got the win here. Wind aided 10.86 seconds, plus 2.5 meters per second, so you know significant win. But what this shows is Twanisha Terry's consistency. Yes, Shelly and Fraser Price wasn't in the race, but regardless, when the other women aren't in the race, Twanisha Terry is going to show up. Look at what happened in the Doha 100 meter race. Shakira Richardson, Sharika Jackson, then Twani Shateri right behind. So I know that the USA women's 100 meter team is very, very stacked, right? I'm looking at Shakira Richardson, I'm looking at Aliyah Hobbs, and then of course looking at Tamari Davis. Those are probably three very solid women, but Twani Shateri is in that mix. I can't deny the consistency that she's been showing year after year, race after race. She is always there, so don't be surprised if she makes a team. We'll see what happens, right? Very tough team to make. And then onto the men's 200 meter dash. I'm a little disappointed in how this race played out. At the start, they had a little bit of a, a false start or a faulty start, whatever it may be, so they called everyone back. Very quick gun though, but the second time around, they again called everyone to set and immediately called the gun. Problem was, Joseph Ambele, he didn't even come into the set position. If you're familiar with track and field, they call on your marks, they call set, and when they call set, the starter has to wait for everyone to be in a set position, and then he blows the gun. Unfortunately, Fambule was still going up and didn't even get to respond to the gun. The gun was so quick. Now, let me not downplay that Aaron Brown got the win here, 20.12 seconds. Aaron Brown is easily one of the most consistent 200 meter runners in the world. He's been you know, on the cusp of making the podium year after year in both the 100 and the 200. So for him to get a win here is an amazing performance, 20.12. Just behind him, Kyrie King ran 20.18 seconds. Kyrie King also had another, you know, amazing 2022 season. So, you know, he's going to be one who's in the mix as well. But Fambule got third place, 20.19 seconds for the third place. Had his typical comeback, you know, like a train in the last 100 meter dash. But he unfortunately didn't get a good start. And because of that faulty start, really, really disappointing because I wanted to see a really, really good race. But regardless, amazing performances from all these guys. So those are some of the sprint performances from the Kip Kano Classic. Of course, not a Diamond League meet yet. It's trying to get there. Let me know if you think it should be a Diamond League meet, right? I didn't talk about the distances. I didn't talk about the field events. There's some amazing performances that went down there. Also, let me know what you think about the Shakira Richardson not running the 100 kind of situation, right? Again, she said she was never told to ever run the 100. She was kicked out of the 100 in Botswana. She was kicked out of the 100 in uh, the Kip Kano Classic. And the reasoning that gives them, you know, more diversity across the events to show that they can really be a high quality meet. Of course, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, the five time world champion in the 100 meter dash, she unfortunately pulled out of the meet. She was already in Nairobi, but had a little bit of a knee injury or, you know, some worries or something like that. So couldn't run the 100 meter dash. You know, that's a big blow. Hopefully she's able to get healthy. I think we all want to see her, you know, go for her sixth world championship title in that 100 meter dash. I think she's a 100 meter GOAT. I don't know what most people think, but she definitely is one of the top ladies in the, in the history of the uh, event. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks for watching.